Welcome back to the Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show on WKYC. Before we get to the Cavs, quick breaking news from the NFL, and it's about the salary cap, and it's a good news for teams that have spent a lot of money like the Browns. This is a record, folks. Usually in most years, the cap goes up 6 million, 8, 10, some recent years, 12 or 14. The salary cap for 2024 was just announced is going up $30 million. Last year it was about 225. This year, the cap will be $255.4 million. Obviously, next week, there'll be some, we'll talk plenty about that. And that update was brought to you by Operation Stockpile. <laughs> there you go. Mikey McNuggets, what do we got on the Cavs? All right, guys, we talked a little Browns, talked a little Guardians. Time for a what's more likely Cavs edition. So, G. Yeah. Bush, I'm going to give you a question. You tell me what's more likely. You ready? Yeah, let's roll. What's a more likely outcome for the Cleveland Cavaliers this season? A trip to the NBA Finals or a first-round playoff exit? Um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to say a first-round playoff exit, and here's why. Uh, you take a look at the Cavs. They're 38 and, 36 and 18 right now, seven behind the Celtics. But look at the teams that are, are you know, bringing up the Eastern Conference. Right now, you got the Heat. Uh, you got the Magic. The, the Magic just beat the Cavs uh, last night on their own court. The Heat went to the finals last year. You know what they talk about, the Heat culture. Uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of teams in the, in the Eastern Conference that are that have a, a little bit of a, 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 a of a puncher's chance to beat you, even if they didn't have a great regular season. Uh, and with that being said, I think it's more likely, just by a smidge, that they lose a first-round matchup than go to the NBA Finals. Jason. Yeah, I have to agree with G. It, the East is so stacked, and it's so loaded with teams right now, with really competitive teams. I, the, a team like the Sixers without Joel Embiid could fall yeah. to the point where the Cavs would catch them in the first round matchup, which would be terrible news for the Cavs if that were to happen. It's so hard to get through the East to get to expect them. I know Milwaukee's had a lot of problems, but I still think this is just a veteran team. It's been there. They're bored. They're going to be fine in April, May, and June to get through Milwaukee, to get through Boston. Mm. It's really hard New to York. get met to navigate the entire East and make the finals. I think that's probably still a year away for the trajectory that the Cavs are on with the NBA. Typically it goes in levels. They got there last year and they got embarrassed. So now you get back, you go a step or two higher. And then next year is when you go a step or two beyond that. I don't think either one is going to happen, but if I have to pick, it would be a first round exit. Yeah, obviously, uh, we all don't think either one is all that likely, but here's the bottom line. The Cavs in the history of the franchise without LeBron have won four playoff series in their entire franchise without LeBron. It's a lot of years. All right. So to get to the finals, they have to win three. Number two, the Cavs have won one playoff game without LeBron in about the last 20 years. Yeah. So I, I, I'm going to say they're going to win 12 playoff games without <laughs> LeBron. It's possible, but it's highly unlikely. They are way more. I, I don't think it's that close, and I hope, I hope I'm wrong. But it and now it depends where they finish. Like, they're in the two seed now, but there's no lock that they're going to – they could easily play Philly in the first round. Yeah. And if Embiid's back, they might be an underdog in that series. They could end up playing the Knicks in the first round. And, and no as you mentioned, if you, even if you play Miami, which is very realistic, Miami's got that magic because they got the best coach in the league. So I think the Cavs are going to win a series. I think they got a decent shot to win two even, but I can't see them beating Boston. I think that's going to be nearly impossible. And uh, so unfortunately, I think we're in a clean sweep yeah. for the fact that it's, it's more likely. Mike, do you want to make the argument for the other or no? Yeah, I'll make the argument. I, I think the answer is more likely first round exit, but in a 2-7 matchup, Let's say they play Orlando in the first round. I know Orlando beat them last night, but they still have to go through all their growing pains as a young team. You beat Orlando, maybe you get Milwaukee in the second round. Milwaukee can't stop a nosebleed right now. And I know they have Giannis, but their defense is suspect. Cavs get hot. And then you see what happens in the conference finals. But losing to the Magic would be a tough way to go out for the Cavs. I don't think it would happen. So 